got the puck. He speeds across the center line. Oh, look, he's in. All alone. Here he comes. I'm going to shut you down like a bad habit. Oh, yeah? Shut this. Red Force through the effort with the Olympic gold medal. Woo! Man, they love me, right? Look at him. Hey, look at that, man. They love us. Hey, you are crazy. You know that? What's with this obsession with gold medals all of a sudden, huh? Because we're going to the Olympics, bud. Huh? The both of us, man. That's our destiny. Picture it. Matt Clark and Ray Rosovich, the dynamic duo, the backbone of the U.S. Olympic dream team. You know what? I'm with you on that one, bro. Yeah? Boogie, oogie, oogie! Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> but first we have to deal with the fact that you're a sieve and you couldn't stop a beach ball. Huh? I'm not winning a bronze, I tell you. Oh, yeah? Well, neither yeah. am I, bro. Neither oh, am I. Oh, whoa, here we go. Let's go. That's it. Game on. Wow. What, are you still on vacation or something? Keep your feet moving. How many times have I got to tell you that? Hey, funny boy, how could you let a guy like Spess, of all people, push you around like that? Next time, take him out. You got him, man. Hey, Mr. Sip, keep your eyes open, maybe, and next time you'll get a shutout. Matt, the guy got lucky. What can I say? Come on, girls, we're better than this, all right? No more lying down on the job. We're going to get creamed at the big O if we don't shape up. So let's get it together and get out there, all right? Are you with me? Yeah! yeah. Are you with me? Yeah! Let's get out there and kick some check butt! Yeah! Oogie, oogie, oogie! Oi, oi, oi! Oogie, oogie, oogie! Oi, oi, oi! Oogie! Oogie! Oi, oi, oi! Let's go! Wait a minute. We are winning, right? Yeah, last night, Jack. Three to one. I'm afraid to see what he's like when we're losing. <laughs> it's good that you're a friend, buddy. It's good that you're a friend. Okay, let me get a timeout called right now, all right? Very funny. After the game, it's important. Anything you want, Danny girl. I'll meet you outside the locker room, hot shot. You got it, babe. <laughs> oh! oh, hey. I mean, I stick by my own teammate. Oh, come on, is there no justice out here? Hey, you know the rules, Buckwheat. All is fair in love and hockey. Yeah. Oogie, 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 oogie! Oi, oi, oi! Let's do it! This third period could be a beauty. And we're about to get underway. Puck is dropped at center ice. U.S. control as they set up and enter the check zone. Clemens looking for a pass. Gets the puck, and he's hammered. What a hit. Go, go, get up, get up, get up, get up. Go, take him wide, that way! Clemens is struggling to get up. And here come the check the other way through the neutral zone. A pass on the right side as they move over the U.S. line. Throw on the brakes. Gonna get a shot here from the point. Rosovich is ready for it. Takes the shot. Oh, and Matt Clark is down. The shot was high and wide, and it Matt? must have hit Matt. Oh, no. Matt! Look at this. This is serious. Hey, hey, what happened? That's impossible. The puck was nowhere near him. Get the doctors! It looks like the paramedics are being called in. There seems to be a lot of confusion. Exactly what he's doing. Another shot over here. He was headed on the net. Captain Matt Clark is out cold. This is devastating effects. The U.S. team is getting it. Matthew? Who the heck are you? My name is Peter. Are you a doctor? How are you feeling? Fine. Look, what's going on here? You, sir, were hit in the head by a puck. No kidding? <laughs> All things considered, Doc, I uh, feel A-OK, -okay, you know, not a headache, nothing. You must uh, 
Giving me some pretty heavy-duty painkillers, huh? <laughs> I'm not a doctor, Matthew. And this is not a hospital. Oh, so you, uh, you mean that, um, well, what you're telling me is that, that this here is that, that I'm, um... That's right. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> dead. <laughs> this is like some big, weird dream, right? That I'm gonna, like, wake up from this dream and everything will be all right. I'll be back on the ice like nothing happened, right? I'm out of here. See you later, Doc. Wait! This happens every time. This is just a dream, Matt. You're dreaming. This is a dream. It's a dream, Matt. It's a dream. What the heck is it? It's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. This is not a dream, Matthew. And I'm not just some figment of your imagination. So that's it? At the end of period, game over? No more timeouts or instant replays? Let me explain. At the moment, you're at a transition station. A transition station? What's up with that? I mean, you guys can't decide where to put me yet? Am I one of those borderline cases? Something like that. Actually, that's what I'm here to discuss with you. You see, Matt, we know that God, in all this divine wisdom, is incapable of making mistakes. <laughs> We may at times wish to question his judgment on matters, but ultimately, we realize that all his decisions are for the best. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to argue with a head ref, huh? <laughs> Humans, on the other hand, are of the mortal realm. They are relatively frail, cannot move through time or change the course of destiny. And then we have angels. Alan? 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 Come here, please. Pardon me, honey. I'll uh, be back in the twinkling of an eye. So I, I don't get it here. What does all this have to do with me? Matt, this is Alan. Hi, Matt. Look, I'm real sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. I swear, it was an accident. Really? What the heck's he babbling about? Uh... Alan is responsible for you being here, which ordinarily would be the case, as every mortal soul requires a heavenly escort. Unfortunately, this is not an ordinary case. You're not supposed to be here yet. Come again? Well, you see, Matt, Alan was indeed at the hockey game, but he wasn't there for you. Oh, I gotta watch this. You see... There was another gentleman in the stands whose time had come. Are you A real right slovenly now? type, years of beer and hot dogs. Get that guy! Come on, come on, pass it! Shoot! Oh Alan was really trying to stay in the game. Dude! Yeah. Oh no, not now. Can you wait for the end of the period? <laughs> but as fate would have it, Someone wasn't keeping their eye on the puck. Hey, I said I was sorry. So here you toilet face little creep. I'm gonna teach you the meaning of soup. It's a rental. Please. There'll be none of that here. This is great. This is real great. Now I'm stuck in some eternal Greyhound station without a ticket. What am I supposed to do, open a Starbucks? Actually, we were talking about uh, sending you back to Earth. You serious? Well, that's all there is to it, then. Giddy up. I mean, get me back there before we blow our two-goal lead. Uh, unfortunately, it's too late for that. We can't put you back into your original body. It's been four days. You've been pronounced dead, cremated, and buried on national television. Well, then how the heck are you going to send me back? We'll simply have to find another suitable body for you to use. And for that, I leave you with Alan. You can't be serious! Sorry. As they say in the local idiom, too hip, gotta go. Wait! Where are you going? Well, uh, I guess we better get going.
running out of time here. You just try and keep still. Hey! Before you go screwing up my life again, you mind telling me whose body you're stuffing me into? Uh, look, I'm sorry, I can't give you any names, but I can tell you this person's been clinically dead for two days. The body's being kept alive on life support. Oh, no, you don't. Not putting me into some shriveled up corpse of a nine year old geezer. That's... No, of course not. Look. Your big dream in life was to win a gold medal out on the ice, right? Darn right. As an American, not as a European, and sure as heck, not as some lousy Czech. I promise it'll be as an American. You'll be in great shape with years of skating experience already under your belt. All right, now we're talking. Okay. Now, before you go, there are uh, two very important rules you need to keep in mind. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Fine print. Here you go. Do this. Let's do this. Look. Sorry. Look. First. You should never reveal yourself to anyone as Matt Clark, right? He no longer exists. <laughs> what if I do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Scoop me up and dump me in the land of fire and brimstone? Ooh. <laughs> if you do, they'll probably lock you in a loony bin and throw away the key. Yeah. All right. I'll give you that one. All right. Second. And this is the most important rule, okay? You must never seek out any friends or loved ones from your past life. What? I'm sorry. We can't have you running around unduly influencing the destinies of others in a world where Matt Clark no longer exists. But anyway, if you choose not to behave, then all memories of a person's contact will be permanently erased from your mind. Get it. Look, nope. Look, wait. Get it. Look, wait. You're not gonna stop. Okay. Okay. Look, there are ways around the second rule if you know what you're doing, right? Trust me. Was you gonna elaborate on this? No, oh, I can't. I'm running out of time here. Say cheese, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Nurse! Nurse! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> it's a miracle. Who are you? Amnesia. That's quite common with head injuries like this. It's a miracle. I gotta go find your folks. And, um, Dr. Fielding, I'll be right back. It's a miracle. What happened to me? You don't remember? It's all sort of hazy. It's like a light at the end of the tunnel sort of thing. You hit your head skating. Who are you? Tracy. Tracy Hannibal. Can I, um, could I see a mirror? One time, Abigail's twin sister, Dora, she bumped her head in a swimming pool on her honeymoon in Jamaica, and she totally forgot everything. Oh, wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Somebody mind cluing me in on a few details here? First of all, who are you two? Oh, my good Lord, Sarah. You don't even know who your mom and dad are. Sarah? Yes, Sarah. Sarah Bryan, our only daughter. Olympic contender. Can't you remember any of this? <laughs> well, it appears you folks have some catching up to do, so I'll just take a stride down the end of the hole. Oh. Don't worry, your daughter appears to be in good health. I think I'll go with him. Wait a minute. Who's Alan? I need some more answers from you. How did I hit my head playing hockey? Hockey? Who said anything about hockey? Ice skating, Sarah. You're a figure skater. Ranked number one in the country. Look, you might as well read it for yourself. Here. We were both practicing for the Olympics when you botched a triple axel and hit your head. We? Yeah. I better get back to practice. Maybe I'll see you out on the ice sometime, huh? Yeah. And thanks for stopping by, huh? Oh, Mom. How you doing, Dad? Her prognosis has improved tremendously. There's no sign of contusion or even abrasions. And a CAT scan shows almost no sign of previous trauma. I don't understand. Oh, nor do I. Yesterday, I found no sign of brain stimulation. And today, well, all I can say is 
It's a miracle. Honest to God, it's a miracle. <laughs> what can I say? I've been touched by an angel. Uh, uh, will she be, um, normal? Ha! Um, I think she'll be fine. We should be able to take her home very soon. <gasps> what about her rest? You know. Memory? Look, you know what? I might have hit my head on the ice, but I'm not deaf, okay? Would you stop talking about me like I'm not even here? Her memory may return slowly or uh, all at once. Uh, if I were you, I would put my money on slowly. Anyway, um, there's no way to tell, um, but there's not a lot more that we can do for her here at the hospital. Oh, hey, guys. Danny, girl. Running a little late, aren't you, Joe? <clears throat> You're not Joe. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm replacing Joe for a few days. My name's Danielle. I'll be sorry. My name's Matt. So, Matt, where do we hurt today? Um, right, right here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, yeah, out, right, right there. <laughs> oh, and, uh, right here. Your heart. That's right. My heart will break if you don't join me for dinner. <laughs> Dinner. Hmm. Do you want some water to help wash it down? Huh? I said, would you like some water to wash this down? It's a large pill. Would you like some water to wash it down? Nah. Hey, uh, you mind leaving me alone for a while? Okay, Doc, dear. We'll be just down the hall if you need us, dear. Yeah, thanks. Uh... Alan, I know you're up there, and I know you can hear me, you sorry little piece of... Look, if you come out now, I promise the next time I see you, I won't lay you out like a doormat. All right. Fine. Have it your way. But know this. I intend to work these puny little muscles out until the day I die, at which point I will search through every transition station until I find you and rip your wings off one by one. Psst, Sarah, over here. <laughs> what, what, you think this is funny? This is some sort of joke to you? First you wrongly end my life and then you dump me into the body of some chick figure skater? What are you thinking? I'm sorry. But it was the best I could do under the circumstances. I mean, you insisted on winning a gold medal out on the ice. No, no, a gold medal in hockey. Hockey. That's with pucks and sticks, not disco music and stupid hmm. frou-frou outfits. Well, excuse me. Ellen! 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 Nobody said anything to me about hockey. Forget about hockey. Forget hockey. How did you come up with the part about bringing me back as a female? Ah, oh, just being creative. You know, that's the trouble with people these days. Nobody appreciates creativity anymore. Uh, all right, forget. Let's just put that aside for now. What I want to know is how can I get in touch with my friends? Sorry, you know the rules. If you try contacting anyone from your past, all memory of them will be permanently... erased. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said there was some way around the rules. You know, like some sort of a loophole? <sighs> okay. Okay. The truth is, if they find you, that's still within the rules. But you just can't go looking for them. No postcards, phone calls, emails, or instant messages. Only if they bump into you, by chance, as a natural part of their own human destiny, then uh, all bets are off. What, how am I supposed to make that happen? <sighs> Beats me. Yeah, if you can figure out a way to make it work, then be my guest. But I highly recommend you try adjusting to your new life as Sarah Bryan first. After all, this is your destiny. My destiny? What do you mean, my destiny? You're the one who turned me into a chick, remember? You know, humans are all the same. So busy complaining that you missed the entire key to embracing life. Oh, yeah, and, and what's that? If you want to make something of yourself, you should first accept your destiny and then let go of the past. You have got to be kidding me. 
How am I supposed to go on embracing my life as a chick when I don't even know how to put on a miniskirt? Oh, gee. I'm running late for a 215 in Duluth. Guess you're gonna have to figure out that one on your own. Taxi. No, no, no. Don't even think of running out on me, Alan. No, I can't do this. This is crazy. I'm not cut out for being a woman. Uh, must be uh, PMSing or something. <laughs> I know just how you feel. Why, just last week, I ate a two-pound box of chocolates and screamed at the patio furniture for three hours straight. <laughs> What's she doing? We're late, honey. You gotta go. Look at me. Look at what I'm wearing. It's, it's, it's disgusting. Sweetie, that's your favorite dress. Um. <sighs> Do I look like an invalid to you, Doc? Uh, I'll walk. Thank you very much. Uh, Sarah, shall we? Sarah, has this injury dashed your hopes for gold in figure skating in this year's Winter Olympics? Uh, figure skating, no comment. Oh, please, Do you have anything to say to your fans? Are you going to skate again? I'll go chase an ambulance. How soon can we see you back on the ice? Do you plan to write a book about your experience? Well, we must have missed something. Uh, who cares? How do you explain a clinically dead woman suddenly having a full recovery? It's a miracle. <laughs> World-class figure skater, huh? <laughs> she was a lot less graceful in person than I would have imagined. <laughs> Surprised she's not riding home in a hurling. <laughs> And you zap away what's left of my memory, Alan. I can die and come back to Earth as a woman. I still can't do a thing about all the junk they put on TV. I love ha! All hope is not lost. Come on, boys! What the heck was that? Honey, there's a burglar in the house. Wake up, wake up. get some shut-eye if I'm gonna make it to practice tomorrow, huh? Well, uh, I guess I'll just clean up, uh, brush my teeth. Oh, man, I am bushed. Oh, yeah, big day tomorrow. Gotta get to bed. Uh, excuse me. I think a little psychological counseling might be in order. Well, you know how sensitive she is. 
I'm not sure this is a good time to bring up such a delicate subject, especially with the Olympic trials coming up. But, Paul... Once she falls back into a familiar routine, I'm sure everything will just return to normal. Or, uh, you could be right. Uh, this is no good. What am I supposed to do with these? First box of crayons didn't have this many colors. I can't trust this a girl. vacationing in Rome. All I need is the basic 411 on how to get dressed. Is that too much to ask? Hey, guys, what's up? Um, yeah, wouldn't you be more comfortable in a blouse, dear? It is so awfully warm outside. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna go or what? Oh, honey, don't forget your lunch. And I made your favorite today, tuna on rye with wheatgrass. So? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, honey. Keys. <laughs> Let's go, Ace. Have a nice day, dear. Yeah, sure, thanks. Hey, about last night, I'm real sorry about the cigar burns on the carpet. You take it out of my allowance. to drive? Oh, I thought I would. At least, you know, until you get a valid driver's license. Oh. <laughs> right, right. Uh, traumatic head injury, remember? Sarah, we need to talk. Yeah, about what? Well, uh, this is kind of difficult. I don't really know where to begin. It's just that, well, uh, you seem to be going through some changes lately. How uh, so? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's just that, I mean, change is good. It's a normal and natural part of life. And we all go through changes as we grow and mature. And uh, as a young woman, going so quickly towards adulthood. Uh, Dad, don't you think that Mom should be having this conversation with me? I suggest that we both have it, but um, she thought it might be a little premature. Yeah. Well, actually, I think it's a bit too late. You do? Well, yeah, we're not living in the Stone Age, you know. I'm against it. Oh, no. I mean, if anything, I would think that you and Mom would be against it. Your mom may be. <laughs> you know how conservative she can be. But I'm all for it. You don't think I'm a bit too young? The earlier you start, the better. That's what I think. And as many times a week as you like. I mean, every day, if you think that'll make you feel better. Every day? Right on. Now you're talking my language. <laughs> well, maybe not every day, but I think once or twice a week would make a good start. Wow. 
Dad, I never figured you to be so liberal about having sex. Well, you know. Sex? I was talking about counseling. Gosh, Sarah Elizabeth, are you having sex? Whoa, Who are you whoa. having sex with? Slow down, cowboy. Relax. I'm not having sex. Trust me. Sarah, please. What's the harm in seeing a counselor? <sighs> Look, Pops, I gotta go. We'll talk about this later, all right? Well, think about it. Hey, catch you later, Pops. Okay. Yo! Yeah, you! Pops? Uh, what's your name again? Tracy. Oh, yeah, Tracy, sure. Been having some memory problems like, you know, head injury, all that. So, um, I understand we're both on the Olympic team? Last I heard. Oh, well, great. Maybe sometime Look, you could... I'm real sorry about your head injury, but I'm not sure that it's cool for us to be talking like this, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Whatever. Next time, take it out on the lawn furniture. Okay, ladies, do we have any jumps in us today? Do I see jumps today, ladies? That was not bad. Let me see that gold style. Enough of that bronze stuff. Come on. A little energy here. Up a little late, were we last night? Bed check from now on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is not a sport, this is a Barbie convention. Don't look now. She's bad. No way. Look, what is she wearing? From Ice Queen to Beavis and Butthead want to be in one week flat. What a joke. Yeah, there goes the neighborhood. I'm drafted into the Frufu army. The embarrassment doesn't kill me, no doubt the hairspray will. Well, here goes nothing. Good morning, ladies. Well, well, welcome back, Princess Sarah Boom Boom Ryan. How are we feeling today? Like I've died and gone to heaven and come back again. Well, we're glad you're back. The doctor said just a little amnesia, no uh, physical limitations, nothing to worry about. So we can pick up where we left off, huh? All right, ladies. Chat room is over. Let's make some magic here. Right and, uh, Sarah, the outfit. You can wear that the day Eric Lindros wears a tutu. Otherwise, dump it in the penalty box, okay? Not bad. Another speed? My grandma's slow, but she's old. Let's pick up the pace here. Go, 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 go! Well, congratulations. I'm sure that's exactly what the judges will be looking for in the long program. Come on! We got Olympics six months from now. You want a horse player? You want to be on the Olympic team? Jesus, is he always like this? Nah, uh, sometimes he's mean. You two finished. You got a lot of spunk today, Sarah. Let's start off with something simple. Give me a double axle, double toe combination. Excuse me? You heard me. I said a double axle, double toe combination. Make me happy. Okay, whatever you say. One double dip scoop with extra nuts coming right up. <laughs> hey, you mind clearing out? All right, the rest of you take five. Are you hurt? What, are you kidding me? Matt? Give me a break. Look, Sarah, I don't know what you remember and what you don't. And as your friend, I care, but I'm a coach. I've got to get a team out there ready for the Olympics. And uh, if you're not up to it, well, maybe you ought to just set your sights down the road. It's only four years from now, the next Olympics. <laughs> oh, please. Who asks your advice anyway, don't it, boy? You really think I care about any of this? Forget it. I don't want to get into it with you. I'm here to train champions, not to babysit. Oh, you think I need your help to figure out this stupid sport? I could do this with my eyes closed.
from the 90210 Fashion Patrol. Sarah, you look like you've had enough for one day. Yeah, we're starting to get mental bruises just watching you skate. Mm. We're heading out to the locker room. You coming? Uh, nah, you girls go powder your noses. I'm gonna stick here, practice my fruit loops. Toe loops. Whatever. Well, suit yourself. See you around. Man, this is ridiculous. Why do I even bother? Hey, good going, guys. Hope you're having a lot more fun than I am. It's not my idea of a first-rate destiny. This looks like a much better way to spend the afternoon. All right, check this out. All right, listen, give me ten minutes with the boys. I'll have them playing like pros in no time. Thanks. Now get out of here. All right, come on now. Get out of here. I didn't know Princess Sarah even liked hockey. You kidding? She used to refer to hockey players as Neanderthals on blades. <laughs> I guess you could say hockey players aren't the only ones who never evolved. See you later. Wait a minute. You come here. What's your name? Matthew. Oh, Matthew. It's a good name, buddy. Listen, Matt. Not Matt, Matthew. Dad says Matt something you wipe your feet on. Okay. Matthew, you gotta keep that stick down low, otherwise you'll be penalized for high sticking. Okay? So let's try this again. Right, buddy, you'll be okay. Hey, come on, you can do it. That's it, just move your feet. Keep moving your feet. That's it. That's it, keep moving. That's it. That's it. It's unnatural, honey. Good. Keep moving. Falling on the ice without any padding. One of my many perks. Hey, Tracy. Thanks for the warning. You're welcome. Come on, you guys. Back to work. look thirsty, dear. Care for some lemonade? Hmm? Uh, yeah, sure. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers. Tastes good. So, uh, what'd I win this one for? Best costume? That was the national championships just last year. You received five perfect scores. <laughs> Don't you remember? Uh, it's still a little hazy. So, uh, Mom, do I have any, uh, you know, friends? Well, oh, sure you do, honey. Um, uh, 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 there's Coach Parker, and um, there's your cousin Pat, and Aunt Jamie, and, well, well you always have your father and me. Yeah, um, actually, I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, uh, school chums, beer buddies, that sort of thing. You know, honey, you have devoted a lot of time to your skating over the years, and, um, I guess you never really had a chance to develop, um, a, a, a large circle of friends your own age. Oh. Now, this was your first national competition. Oh, I just love that competition. I love that costume. We have all of your competitions on tape. We take them. Wouldn't you like to see some of them? Hmm? And what the heck? I mean, uh, sure. <sighs> you spent hours practicing. <laughs> you were so nervous. <gasps> so little. <gasps> Can't believe you kept this. Oh. Look at that. Oh, it was quite a doll, huh? You certainly were, dear. 
I love that song. Wait a minute. Why the heck am I crying like this? Honey, why? Sarah? Sarah? Why are you doing this to me, Alan? Honey? Sarah, what is the matter? Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter is I'm acting like a chick. That's what's the matter. This has got to stop right now. Sarah, calm down. You're, you're just experiencing a little, um, mood swing. That's all. It's nothing to get so upset no, about. No, you don't understand. This can't be happening. Oh, man, I'm turning into a freak of nature. Oh, honey, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with crying. It's all just part of being a girl. I'm so alone. I'm so confused. I just want to go home. You are home, honey. Hey there, Ray. I sure miss you, buddy. Looks like you guys will be going to the Olympics without me. Wait a minute. If you go to the Olympics in hockey, and I go to the Olympics in figure skating, that means that we would be in the same place at the same time, just a natural part of our own destinies. Looks like I just found a way around your dippy rules, Alan. Side by side for the Olympic gold, just the way we dreamt it. Your figure skater, not a nice bit. 
Need a hand? Uh, nah. I seem to be more consistent as all. Relax. You've done this a million times. It'll all come back to you. Yeah, but we'll come back in time for the big O. Tracy, what are you doing standing around? You're not skating well enough to skip a day's practice. I want to see some cardio, ladies. Everybody at the parking lot, I want you to take your skates off with the rollerblades on, all right? Come on, cardio, 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 cardio! Sir, you get out there and make sure nobody slacks off, all right? Me? Why me? Why you? Because next to me, you're the biggest pain in the butt we've got around here. I'm going to make some phone calls. That leaves you. Oh, no! What do we have here? Hey, come on, guys. Let's go check it out. Hey, you want to uh, throw our ball back there, babe? Babe, how would you like this ball surgically removed from your tonsils, babe? Oh. Excuse me. You want this ball back? You gotta earn it. Oh, no, 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 no. Sarah, what are you getting us into? Right. Don't worry about it. It's be a breeze. You can't see a thing in this. Are you crazy, Sarah? We can't play street hockey. Oh, come on, you guys. The key to winning in hockey is finding your opponent's weakness and using it against them. And you've learned this where? I can't believe this. What if Coach sees us out here? Yeah. I'm not sure this is such a hot idea, Sarah. Oh, come on, guys. What, are we going to back down to a bunch of big mouth boys, are we? <laughs> Look, all we got to do is get this ball and that this team. That's it? Yeah. yeah uh, that and a couple other things. But, you know, don't worry about it. I'll clue you in as we go, okay? That's what we need, all right? It's a clue. Hey, ladies, what's up? We don't play or what? Let's go, let's go. They're just no, it's not us. Well, they're certainly not athletes, that's for sure. Look at him, bloody winded. So, so all we have to do is get the ball away from them long enough until we run them ragged. We skate better than these guys on our worst day. Come on, guys, trust me on this.
Come in. You want to tell me what that was all about? I told you. Cross-training. Cro Hockey is not cross-training. Running, that's cross-training. Aerobics is cross-training. Ballet, for crying out loud, that's cross-training, not hockey. You don't know anything about hockey. I played hockey. <laughs> Hockey's dangerous. What if one of those girls had gotten hurt? Why are you laughing? You playing hockey? Very funny. Look, Sarah, I, uh, I started out thinking this new assertiveness of yours was a good idea. Now I'm not so sure. I don't think you're going to be ready for the Olympics. What do you mean? I'm saying I can't train you for the Olympics. Well, because of the hockey? Because of everything. Your attitude. Look at you. You're argumentative. You're sarcastic. Now, your skating has improved since the accident. I admit that. But the triple, that was your ticket. You can't even do it now. Look, I'll work harder. I'll, I'll practice day and night. You don't get it. Oh, come on, coach. I've made up my mind. Well, unmake it. Look, I have never been kicked off anything in my entire life, and I don't intend to start now. You know what? I have worked my butt off to get this far, and I'm going to land that triple, and I'm going to go to the Olympics. The question is whether or not you're going to be there to help me. Oh, come on, coach. Just one more week. One week. That's all I ask. If I don't shape up, then you don't have to cut me. I'll cut myself. I'll give you one week. Thanks, coach. Don't thank me yet. Yes, you'll get a triple in one week. And pigs will fly and chickens will wear pants. Of work into getting this far. I know what it's like to be cut short of an Olympic dream. I promise I won't let you down on yours. <sighs> what am I talking about? How am I gonna pull this off? Don't suppose you have any hot tips for me, huh, Alan? Sure as heck can't do it by myself. Okay. I'm here. Do you mind telling me why the urgent phone call to meet you at this ungodly hour? I need your help. You need my help? I need you to teach me how to be a figure skater. What? Look, if this is some kind of stupid joke. Look, Tracy, this is no joke. I can't remember a thing. I've got one chance left or else I'm off the team. Look, right now, I don't even know the difference between a sow cow and a Holstein. But I know that part of my brain remembers, you know, kind of like reflex memory. It's just, I wish that someone could just, you know, show me how to do it and my body would just kind of follow along. Why don't you ask Coach Parker to help? Please, Coach Parker's ready to drop me like a hot rock as it is. I need somebody that I can trust. What? What makes you think you can trust me? In case you forgot, we were pretty stiff competitors. Have been for years. Yeah, but you were the first person at the hospital when I woke up. So we can't be that bad of enemies. Oh, What? What about that? You want to know why I was at the hospital that day? Sure. Princess Sarah the Ice Queen. You had more natural talent than anyone I've ever seen. And an attitude to go with it. For the longest time, I prayed that something would happen to you. Did you fall down, break a leg, twist an ankle. Or even worse. Over and over, I prayed that you'd get a brain aneurysm or a kidney failure or anything that I had a chance at winning. And then that day when you hit your head on the ice and went into a coma, I freaked out. I felt like I did this to myself. I felt so guilty. It was awful. The doctor said you wouldn't pull out of it. They said you wouldn't even be able to hear me when I came to visit that day. And all I wanted to do was apologize. Wow. It's pretty deep. I'm real sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean all those things I said when I prayed for all that horrible things to happen to you. 
Don't worry about it. I'm really sorry about all the nasty things I said about you in the past. Believe me, I wasn't myself back then. <laughs> no kidding. You've sure changed a lot. You know, someone once told me that the key to embracing life means that sometimes you have to forget about the past. What do you say we both do that right now? Deal. So, uh, now that we forgot about the past, uh, are you gonna help me out? Where do you want to start? Well, I think we should start at the beginning. Okay. Well, I can teach you up to triple flip and triple X, but I only can do a double axel myself. Only a handful of female skaters have ever been able to land a triple axel. And you, Princess Sarah, were one of them. Lead on, no teacher. Keep your shoulders down. competition? Uh, hell yeah. Uh, I mean, um, heavens, yes. <laughs> I certainly intend to give 100% out on the ice. There have been some reports that your recent injury may have caused some difficulty with your triple axel. Would you care to comment on this? Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, I mean, I assure you that Sarah Bryan, the figure skater, is back like never before. I can guarantee it. <laughs> so we'll be seeing that triple somewhere in your final routine. Well, let's just say that the odds of seeing the triple are, um, better than three to one. <laughs> there you have it, skating fans. Sarah Bryan promising quite a show out there on the ice. One more thing, if you don't mind sharing, who would you say has been the biggest influence on you in your skating career? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'd have to say, uh, Bobby Hall. Did you say Bobby Hall? She said Sonia Henny. Look, we're running really late for practice. Come on, dear. Hey, hey. How do the two of you resolve the issue of remaining friends while competing at a worldwide event such as this? Not to work. We've got that all worked out. One of us is going to win the gold. We just ain't saying who. Well, there you have it from America's Best in their quest for Olympic gold. So how'd I do? Great. Really? 
Yeah, I'd say you're a shoo in for the next Wheaties commercial. Excuse me, may I please have your autograph? But I believe he's out there somewhere watching us and rooting for us. I'm sure he is, Frank. And we're all behind you guys 100%. Thanks very much. Best luck. All right. Hey! Hey, what are you doing here? Do you think I better go lie down? Okay, he's taking slap shots again. so good in your new life. I thought you were letting go of the past pretty well, too. Yeah, me too. It just came back to haunt me big time. Now I don't even know if I'll ever be able to let go. Ah, oh, come on. It can't be that bad. Can it? We're talking about the two people that I love most in the entire world. Now I'm not sure if it ever meant anything or if it was all just a lie. Well, why don't you talk to them about it? You're free to do that now, you know? You managed to script the rules pretty well. Yeah. Lucky me. You know, sometimes the best way to let go of the past is to confront it head on. This might be your last chance to set the record straight. <clears throat> Besides, since when have you been afraid of confrontation? Good point. Well, time for a serious heart to heart with good old pal Romeo. You want to come? Sorry. Duty calls. Some idiot on a motorcycle with a bungee cord about to make television history. You go on. You'll be fine on your own. Thanks, Alan. You're an angel. So I've been told. for uh, Ray Rosovich's room. Has he checked in yet? Oh, Sarah, uh, Miss Bryan, we're not actually supposed to give out personal information like that, are we? Can we make an exception?
Actually, I was looking for Ray Rosovich's room. Ray's not in at the moment. Aren't you Sarah Bryan, the figure skater? Well, I guess that question's still up to debate. Please, why don't you come in? Sure, <laughs> thanks. So, you're a friend of Ray's? Uh, yeah, we kind of know each other from way back. You know, practically another lifetime. That's funny, Ray never told me about you. Yeah, well, he didn't exactly tell me about you either. Is there some sort of problem? Well, you guys moved awfully fast, don't you think? What's going on here? I mean, you couldn't have even waited a month? <sighs> Matt, calm down. Matt? How'd you know? That's the baby's name. The doctor just told me two weeks ago that he's a boy. And you named him Matt? What were you thinking? Have you no compassion? What's wrong with Matt, for goodness sakes? It was his father's name. Excuse me? Baby's father. His name was Matt. Matt Clark. Former captain of the U.S. hockey team. We were just engaged to be married when, um... I never even got to tell him he was going to be a father. God, I miss him so much sometimes. He would have made a great dad, too. He probably wouldn't have thought so himself, but I know he would. And I know it's going to be really hard without him. <laughs> but, um... That's a hand I was dealt with for whatever reason, so I guess I'll just have to accept it. Like my mother always seems to say, you can only paint with the colors you've been given. That's a beautiful way of putting it. Painting with the colors that you're given. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Don't mind me. I've been doing this a lot lately. Oh, man, this is so humiliating. So, um... What about you and Ray? Ray's been a wonderful friend through all of this. He even offered to help support me and the baby. He and Matt were best friends, you know. Maybe the two of you will get married someday. Yeah? Why do you say that? Well, you both seem like really cool people. You deserve the best in life. I should probably get going. And, um... You know, I think he still loves you. Who? Baby's father. He knows, and, uh, he loves you both very much. You really think so? Yeah. Hear that, little Matt? Daddy loves you. And, uh, you know, I, w I wouldn't call him Matt. You know, Matthew's better. That's something you wipe your feet on. <laughs> I guess you've got a point there. Okay. Matthew it is. Hey, are you by any chance a hockey fan? <sighs> are you kidding me? Get my front teeth to join the NHL. I've got an extra ticket to tonight's big game. Would you like to go with me? As I mean. Yeah. That'd be great. Number nine, Ivanovich ties up Malfoy. Jeff moves in on the loose puck into the U.S. zone. Rossovic hey, sets it up, and the U.S. is on the attack. Donald oh, gains the blue line, holds the puck to lead. He's got his hand. 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 He's got his
like this game may be in the can. It doesn't look like the U.S. can, can pick much of anything up here tonight. Couldn't agree more. It seems like ever since the tragic loss of Captain Matt Clark, this team just cannot put it together. for me, Danny girl. I gotta take care of something. Danny girl? Where did you hear that? Only one person has ever called me that. Look, I gotta go. Oh, easy there, Matthew. Matthew? out there and let's either get it together or go home right now listen guys before i came here i made a promise to myself that i was going to do everything within my power to win a gold at these olympics not for my country and not for me but for matt our brother my best friend when it came to playing this game he always brought out the best in me i mean Come on, he brought out the best in all of us. So I'll be darned if I'm ever going to back out on a promise like that. So what's it going to be? Are you with me? Are you with me? Yeah! Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! Oki! 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 Game. 
accident six months ago to grab the gold medal. One that not too long ago seemed like a sure thing. Truly remarkable. Now at yesterday's short program, Sarah was only able to double her axles, which hurt her severely, landing her in a three-way tie for third. One of the only figure skating athletes in the world to consistently land the triple axel. It is not sure whether she will even attempt it in this long program, according to her coach, Stephen Parker. Well, she'll need it if she intends on capturing a gold medal, much less any medal, with this competition. Everyone's skating exceptionally well. For example, this beautiful performance by U.S. figure skater Tracy Hannibal. I'm sure we'll see some excellent scores for her artistic impression, and she should also score well in the technical elements. Tracy's looking good, completing her technical elements. What wonderful form. The judges seem to be leaving some room in anticipation of Sarah Bryan's triple axel, but if she doesn't land it, we could be seeing Tracy receiving the coveted gold medal. She's finishing up here with a beautiful spin. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tracy Hannibal completes her program, and the crowd is on its feet. Well done, Tracy. Good for Tracy. She's worked so hard for this, and she finally did it. You are coming watching some of this. Yeah, don't worry about Tracy. She'll do fine. Start thinking about your own routine now, right? I want you to concentrate. Stay focused. Bravo! Oh, I'm so proud of you. The Southpaws were perfect. Oh, thank you. Here. Congratulations. Oh. Okay, Sarah. I guess it's all up to you now. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> The gentleman asked me to give this to you. What is it? What does it say? Okay, okay, okay. What's this? No way. Ray, you are simply too much, old buddy. Better get out there before they start rioting. Come on. Sarah, look, if you're worried about that triple action, just go for the double. Oh, no. If the hockey team can score four goals in one period, I can land a triple. Okay. Just get out there. Do something. Okay. Hey, Tracy, could you hold this for me? Hey, Tracy, 
No, we would have made it here without you. Just go. Very nice, ladies. Come on, get out there. You got some skating to do. Sarah Bryan is ready to take her opening position for the program. Okay, Alan. I'm ready to let go now. Well, here it is. The long-awaited program from Sarah Bryan. She's tied for third place right now, but she still has a chance at the goal. So much grace in her skating. She's heading into the first jump of her program now. Is so smooth and so calm. Yes, she nails it. Excellent job. What a great start to the program. The pressure Sarah's feeling at this moment must be tremendous. She knows she's got to land the triple axel if she wants a chance at the gold medal. You know, after this performance, Sarah will no longer have any memory of being mad. This program's very smooth. I'm really gonna miss him. Really taking her time with all the elements. Beautiful combination spin. She's really interpreting the music. Wonderful performance. And it all comes down to this. A lifetime of work compressed into minutes. Sarah's routine so far is flawless. What a beautiful job she's doing. I think I've ever seen oh Sarah skate with so much confidence. Well, if she's concerned about the upcoming triple axel, she's certainly not letting it show. Really on top of her jumps tonight. So far, Sarah looks fine. But the true test will come down to the all-important triple axel. Some say she'll double it. But with the competition and the scores that we've seen so far tonight, she needs this triple. And here it comes. This one's from Matthew. Olympic gold history.